Now, we done heard a lot of different takes from a lot of different people this offseason, but this one right here from this NFL analyst, Chris Sims, this was a shocking, surprising take and prediction that he had on our Baltimore Ravens. And what it was, he said that he feels like not only the Ravens are going to make the playoffs, he doesn't only feel like the Ravens are going to win in the division. He said for his AFC playoff picture, he feels like the Baltimore Ravens will be the number one seed. Number one seed. So over teams like the Jaguars, the Bengals, the Bills, the Dolphins, the Jets, but really scratch all that, over the Kansas City Chiefs. And you know the Kansas City Chiefs have been holding down that number one seed for a long time now. Well, they've been the cream of the crop. They've been the, the, the tip top of what it takes to win in the AFC because you have to get through them. They have been running the show in the AFC for a while now. So for Chris Sims to say that about our Baltimore Ravens, I was like, whoa. But then at the same time, I was like, ooh, okay, I like it. And I see where you're going with this. And we're going to break down exactly how the Ravens can get that number one seed, what they will need to do to get that number one seed, and if it's even really a real possibility that they get the number one seed. But before we get into that, Let's have a word from our sponsor. It's football season, so you know what that means, right? We're watching the games. We got our wings. We got our nachos. Our favorite team is scoring touchdowns, but we seeing players take hits as well. And some of them hits are so powerful, they feel like they hurt us on the inside a little bit too. But those are professionals. And usually when somebody's a professional at something, they know what to do or who to call when they get hurt. And these NFL players have a long list of people who they can hit up if they get an injury. But what about you? What happens if you were in an accident? Would you know who to call? Would you know what to do? That's where Morgan & Morgan comes in because with them submitting a claim is easy. Morgan and Morgan modernized the injury law process so you can submit a claim and have it reviewed by a lawyer and you don't even have to leave the couch. You can sign documents, upload pictures, share medical records and doctor bills all from your phone. You can even text message your case manager or your attorney without even having to go into the office. When you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney is one of the first things that you should do. And with Morgan and Morgan, submitting a claim is super easy. Over 3 million people have trusted Morgan and Morgan over the years when it comes to submitting an injury claim. So if you're ever in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less, and you can have America's largest injury firm fighting for you. You can get started at ForThePeople.com or dial pound law, that's pound 529 from your cell phone. So looking at Chris Sims' breakdown of how he sees this AFC playoff picture shaking out, he says the number one seed will be the Baltimore Ravens, the number two seed will be the Kansas City Chiefs. Number three, Jacksonville Jaguars, followed by the Miami Dolphins, then the New York Jets, and then two more AFC North teams, the Cincinnati Bengals and Pittsburgh Steelers. So that will be that be some playoffs right there. Hey, and, and honestly, for me, <laughs> as long as Ravens are in, I don't care who the other six teams are, man. I, it really don't matter. Uh, I just want to see our Baltimore Ravens in there. But Chris Sims is not only saying they can get in there, but they can get the number one seed. How realistic is is the Baltimore Ravens getting the number one seed? Well, we got to think about the past couple of years and how things have gone for the Baltimore Ravens when Lamar Jackson has been out there. Lamar Jackson has already shown, these Baltimore Ravens have already shown that even when they have a depleted team, they have a beat-up team, they can rock with anybody as long as Lamar Jackson is playing. We've seen that before time and time again. He makes a lot of crazy stuff happen. He is such an amazing player, and that's why Ravens paid him the big bucks. But... It's important that if the Ravens are going to get the number one seed or whatever the Ravens are going to do this year, how far they're going to go, he has to be there. He has to be there in the long run. It's extremely important. It's vital. It's crucial to the Baltimore Ravens success that Lamar is there. But Lamar Jackson, uh, over the past couple of years, before he's went out with injury, he's had the Ravens sit nice. The Ravens have... Both years, they've been either atop their division or even atop the AFC uh, before he's went out. So he's already shown, like they've already shown, like they, they can do that. They can make it happen. Even, again, with teams like the Kansas City Chiefs, with teams like the Cincinnati Bengals, Buffalo Bills. I mean, we can go down a long list. So Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, they know they can do it. It's just a matter of staying the course and being consistent and being healthy. And I, I know y'all are tired of hearing about that. I know y'all are tired of me saying it. Y'all are tired of thinking about it yourselves. But it's real. Health is so big for these Baltimore Ravens, especially this year. Everything that they've done, for it to all come together, they got to be healthy. 
that is the name of the game. Uh, but besides health, it, it's going to take everything from everybody in order for them not only to get a number one seed. Because a number one seed is cool. That's great. Because you would get home field advantage. Like for Ravens, like every playoff game, th- number one seed. You, that, you got such a great advantage with that. Number one seed, every playoff game is at the crib. Every single one. Now, that still doesn't change the degree of difficulty for them because you're going against playoff teams. So you're going against teams that had success in the regular season and they had enough success in the regular season to where they are here in the postseason and they're challenging you. They're trying to take the throne from you. They're trying to knock you out. And it's one game, one winner take all. It ain't no seven-game series like the NBA or anything like that. No, one and done, that's it. So you can't mess around, man. But if every game could be at M&T Bank Stadium, oof, that'd be nice. And I know some Ravens fans are scarred from time before when the Ravens had a home playoff game, number one seed and whatnot. But let, let, let bygones be bygones, man. But leave that in the past. Every game is different. Every situation is different. So that would be a nice advantage for the Baltimore Ravens, having that home crowd to, to cheer them on. And, you know, like regular season crowds are crazy. But playoff game crowds, ooh, that, that would be on a whole nother level. Because there will be so much more emotion invested into the game. Because in a regular season, the crowds, they, they, they hype. We, we love it. We, we excited and all that to see our team play. But we know, like, there's always next week. Because there, there, there's always a game next week. But playoff is a completely different atmosphere. Because with playoffs, you don't know what's going to happen next week. You don't even know if there will be a next week for your team. Because nothing is guaranteed at that point. You don't know what the schedule is going to be the following week. So with the Baltimore Ravens, if they could get that number one seed, I would love it because that would mean that they had consistently been playing some really, really good football throughout the regular season. And they had earned the, not a spot in the playoffs, but the spot, the top spot. So that would mean they were a top team. That could set them up for a bye week, even though, again, with that, I know some Ravens fans, they, they, they feel their way about the bye week. They're like, no, I don't want my team to have a bye week. They may end up coming out rusty and whatnot. And, hey, this is where preparation is key. It's going to take everybody, everybody for the Ravens, not only to make the playoffs, but to reach the Super Bowl as well. It's going to take the players doing their thing because the players play. The players got to execute and the players got to be healthy. It's going to take the coaching staff, the coaching staff to set the players up for success, have them prepared, uh, have them have the, the play calling right, have the decision making right. Because this is football is the ultimate team sport, man. It really is everything that everybody around around you, stuff that they do. It impacts you heavily, heavily. And you cannot get it done. You cannot progress. You cannot move forward. You cannot have success if the man next to you, if he's not having success. If the man next to him, he's not having success. It really takes a whole unit, man. Nobody can do it all alone. No matter how good or great of a player they are, nobody can do it alone. So if the Ravens are not only going to get this top seed like Chris Sims is predicting, which, hey, we wouldn't be mad, but if they're going to reach that ultimate goal, then it's literally going to take everybody and more. They got the players to do it. They got a coaching staff that has had a lot of success already. Just think about that. Obviously, John Harbaugh, he's played in every sort of playoff game, been in every single situation, won a Super Bowl too. So he's been there, done that. Todd Munkin, he's had some success in the NFL. and He had championships on a college level. It's time to bring one to the pros now. You think about um, their wide receiver coach that they hired from the Chiefs. He was a wide receiver coach from the Chiefs last year. What did the Chiefs do last year? Oh, they won a Super Bowl. So they have some guys that have had some success. And then you think about, and I'm sure there are more too that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. But then you think, you trickle on down to the players. Justin Tucker, he was on this Ravens Super Bowl team. And it seems like that was so long ago. But yeah, he was there. That was his rookie year. So he knows what it takes to be a Super Bowl champion. Odell Beckham Jr. He was on the Super Bowl team from the Rams a couple years ago. So he knows what it takes to prepare, to get ready and get through. And well, not the whole, he didn't finish the whole game, but he knows what it takes to get to the Super Bowl and be a big part of it. 
Nelson Aguilar with the Eagles a couple years back. He was part of that Super Bowl winning team. So he knows what it takes. So it's, it's, it's so important that you have people that have been there, done that. They know what it's like. So it's important that you use that and use that so that can help you advance to get to where you need to go. Let's see them Ravens take it. Let's see them Ravens go all the way this year. I would love I know y'all would love it a lot. Ooh, that, hey, and it's it's something that's attainable too, man. It's not some far fetched dream or anything. No. Ravens can actually do it. They just gotta get it done. Team keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We out.